Welcome to Luna Basics. In this video, we'll cover quantizing audio clips. We've all had instances where the drummer is just slightly out of the groove, or a guitarist is rushing, or a bass player is laying too far back in the pocket, or perhaps you just want to be able to quantize audio along with your MIDI tracks. In each of these instances, Luna's Audio Quantize feature will automatically line up the timing and rhythm of your tracks to the grid in your session, creating that solid, locked-in feel you've been looking for. In addition to handling single tracks, Luna can do this across multiple tracks without any washy artifacts being introduced and with unique features that let you retain the feel of the original performance. And of course, you can always get back to the raw performance at any time. When you record or import audio into Luna, it automatically analyzes the material in the background and assigns a marker at each transient in the audio file. For example, with drums, each hit is a transient. These transient markers can be seen by selecting warps from the view menu of each track or by pressing Control, Command, and the right arrow with a track selected. To access the quantize controls, Click on the Q in the clip header. This will also select the clip. You can also access this pane from the edit menu by selecting quantize settings or with the keyboard shortcut Command Shift U. With the clip selected and the transient marker showing, and with auto apply turned on, click on various note values and notice how warp markers are generated at that given resolution to quantize the performance to the grid. For example, if you set it to quarter notes, the transients will be moved to the nearest quarter note. In this case, you can see that it leaves out the eighth notes of this bass line. Changing it to eighth notes will quantize this performance to the nearest eighth note, which is what I want here. Note that each change is being applied to the raw performance, not the previously selected quantization value. You can always return to the original recorded timing by clicking off. Notice that the warp markers are removed. These auto-created warp markers are distinct from warp markers that are user-generated. This allows you to quantize clips while maintaining any manual warping you might have added previously. Note that when you edit an auto-created warp marker, it becomes a manual warp marker and then is not changed by subsequent audio quantize operations. If auto-apply is not on, you'll need to click Quantize after each change. Be sure the clip remains selected as you do this. Should you want to only quantize a portion of a clip, make the selection, then Quantize. If you'd like to remove quantization from a portion of a clip, you can make a selection and then click Off, and that portion will have its original performance restored. For instruments that were recorded separately, I recommend working one track at a time to make sure it's locked in before moving on to other tracks. And if you have multi-miked instruments like drums, in my next example, I'll show you how to tweak note value, swing, strength, and range until you find what you're looking for. Let's look at that multi-miked drum example. These present unique challenges since we need to preserve timing and phase across multiple audio tracks. First, I need to group the drums so the quantizing will be applied to all of them. Select the tracks, press Command-G, and name the group. Now they'll be selected together, and hitting Q will open up the quantize pane for all of my drum tracks. What's really cool about Luna's Audio Quantize feature when dealing with multiple tracks is the ability to set track priority. To better understand this, let's look at an example. By default, Luna will use the earliest transient for quantizing when working with grouped tracks. Sometimes this is not the desired outcome. This is where Prioritize for Group Editing comes in. Tracks can be prioritized in the Quantize pane by clicking on the diamonds here. This feature allows you to designate tracks that Luna will use to determine when to quantize the audio. For example, if there's a transient on a hi hat track, that arrives earlier than the kick, without the kick track being prioritized, Luna will use the earlier hi-hat transient for quantizing. But when you set the kick to be the priority track, Luna will ignore the early hi-hat and place the kick 
and all of the other drums along with it where they need to be. You can set more than one track to take priority by clicking additional diamonds. For drums, I recommend you prioritize the kick, snare, and tom mics so that your hats and other drums retain their groove while locking in your kick and snare. You also have the option to use selection grouping, which is great for quantizing tracks together that aren't members of an existing track group, and also the option to turn off grouping entirely, although this should be used with caution as it can result in phase issues. Now let's talk about the three quantize controls. If your tracks are sounding a little too stiff and on the grid, swing allows you to add some feel to your quantization. 0% is perfectly locked to the grid, and higher values add some groove to it. Let's take a listen. The next parameter is strength. This sets the strength of the quantization. At 50, tracks are quantized halfway from their original location to the chosen grid position. At 100, notes are fully quantized to the grid. This allows you to fix the timing while maintaining some of the original feel of the performance. Range sets an area around the grid that quantize will look within for transients to quantize. The lower the range is, the closer a transient has to be for the quantize command to snap it to the grid. So you'll notice more warping taking place with higher range settings and less with lower range settings. In most cases, the default setting of 50 works well to prevent over-quantization of material, particularly on sources where there are lots of different note lengths played over time, like drums, piano, or lead guitar. But be sure to experiment to arrive at the amount of warping that you're after. Note that these values can only be changed when you have a selection made and a note value applied. As we've seen, Audio Quantize helps you polish performances and lock in timing automatically. Whether it's a guitar riff, vocal, or a multi mic drum kit, Luna's Audio Quantize feature will help your track sound better than ever. Be sure to subscribe to the Universal Audio YouTube channel and check out other videos in the Luna Basics series for more Luna tips and tricks.